Hi, my name is David Von Thennen, and I'm going to have a video demo here uh, for a new feature in the Elasticsearch Mesos framework that adds support for external volumes. Um, the goal of the feature is to take the data in the config uh, portion of the Elasticsearch nodes, and instead of storing them local to the slave node, we want them to be stored externally. And I'll kind of cover what that means a little bit later on. Um, I kind of want to go over my configuration. Um, basically, I have my con uh, standard HA configuration of Mesos on Amazon or on EC2. Typical three node, three master node configuration for HA, and then for the slave nodes, I have uh, four slave nodes, so slave four, five, six, and seven, um, and. I want to also show, you know, I have my typical, I got my marathon running here, and then this happens to be my uh, Mesos master node, um, the leader, and you can see that I have four activated slaves there. Um, also, I, what I did was, since the goal is to replace, instead of using local storage of the slave node, we want to use uh, external storage. Um, by default, the Elasticsearch Mesos framework uh, creates three uh, Elasticsearch nodes, right? And each node has a data in a config portion. And then that's why you see here an Elasticsearch 1 data and an Elasticsearch 1 config. So when the Elasticsearch executor node gets created, it's going to, the, the first node is going to attach to Elasticsearch 1 data and config. And then um, since we're creating three of them by default, um, we're, we're going to have six volumes here, and represented by one, two, and three. And then, cut. Want to cover what the the marathon job that I'm going to dispatch. Um, you can see the ID of the the job. Um, notice the image. I have the image stored at my Docker Hub account, so I've created an Elasticsearch scheduler um, on my Docker Hub. And also, correspondingly, I have an Elasticsearch executor on my Docker Hub account. And the reason why I did this for this demo was to show the, the feature end-to-end, uh, -end, right? So we're going to post the job to Marathon. It's going to pull the scheduler and then pull the executors as they get created um, to, to Marathon. And um, so how we enable this feature is, notice the last uh, argument here. Uh, in create in posting this job is the, the external volume driver, and in this case, um, the external volume driver is Rexray, and that's basically a, an open source project that uh, my team, the EMC code team, has developed. Um, and what Rexray is, it's a, a uh, it's a Docker volume plugin, which allows it. The Docker has a, uh, basically an interface in which you can drive the orchestration of external volumes um, through Docker. And so Rexway is just an implementation of that. And what I mean by external storage is um, Rexray, our implementation is, it's kind of a pluggable imp inter implementation. And we support like Amazon right here, EC2, Google Compute Engine, and then with some various EMC, um, EMC storage arrays like uh, Extreme IO and Scale IO. Um, but like I said, in this case, in this demo, um, we're using uh, Amazon EBS volumes here. So kind of without further ado, there's the JSON that I'm going to post. Here's I'm just going to curl the JSON and post the, the task to Marathon. And the job gets kicked off. We'll notice in Marathon, oh, it's already running pretty quick, and then we'll go to the Mesos master. We notice that the scheduler is being staged right now, um, and then it refreshed there, and now we have the scheduler fully running, and now we have the first executor node being staged. Now if we go to Amazon, and we do a refresh of the, uh, the EBS volumes, you can already see that the first executor node, they're both in use, the data and the config, and then if we go back to the Mesos master, in a few seconds or minutes, we should see the 
the remaining two, yeah, the remaining two executor nodes get created. So right now those two are being staged. So that's uh, two and three. And then if I do a refresh of that, we can see that, yeah, it's starting to already connect um, and mount those volumes um, to those other two executor nodes. So Elasticsearch two data and config, right? So when the data, when data or even configuration for that Elasticsearch node, when those things are, when we're writing to those volumes, right, we're actually writing to these EBS volumes in the cloud, right, in Amazon. So the the idea and the, the kind of the goal of this feature is that if you have a node failure, right, so if we kill off node three, that when node, you know, the framework notices that the, the, the executor has gone away and it's going to, you know, get a an offering list, see that there's only th two nodes currently up, and then basically it's going to restart up an executor node on uh, on a different Mesos uh, slave. Now, in doing that, it's going to recognize that it's going to start up that node, find out what position or what node ID died, and it'll the you know part of the pull request configures all this stuff out. And so, say if node two had died. What would end up happening is that the executor would get stood up on a different slave node and then basically attach to the data, the Elasticsearch 2 data and config volumes on Amazon here, on these EBS volumes, and then reattach them. And then the idea is, is instead of having to rebuild from scratch that Elasticsearch node, it can it has the benefit of starting over or starting from where the that Elasticsearch node had died off from. So the rebuild should be significantly faster um, than you know, having to start over from scratch. And that basically um, concludes my demo. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks.